One of my favorite multi-sport watches was always the Vivo Active 3, so I did have some high expectations with the newer model that came out. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Garmin Vivo Active 4 from golfer's point of view and talking about whether or not it's worth picking up. So what we're going to be covering in this video are what this watch actually does, the golf features it comes with, how the quality was, I'll also be talking about the cheapest place to pick it up. But if you do want to see a demo of the watch, then be sure to check out the full review down below. I will just mention our gear giveaway. If you want to enter in, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment giveaway down below. Do those three things and be automatically entered. So let's start off by talking about my first impressions. But like I was saying before, the Vivo Active 3 was one of my favorite multi-sport watches just because it was comfortable. It did everything I needed to do and it wasn't overly expensive. So the new, newer Vivo Active 4, it continued that, but there are a few more features that should make it a little bit better. So the first change is that you can pick between two different sizes. So it comes with a, a, a 40 or 45 millimeter version. And I personally like, like the 40 because it was a bit more compact. Some people are gonna want a bigger watch, but I personally like the ones a little bit smaller. The second change is that it has music storage on it. It comes standard. With the three, you had to pay extra for that feature. I think it was around like 70 bucks or something, but it was come standard on the four. You can't play music through like Spotify or Amazon Music or you know whatever other apps that they might come out with. The final difference is the battery life. It's not that big of a difference, but the four comes with a slightly better battery. It's going to last somewhere around eight days in smartwatch mode. Um, in GPS mode, it'll last you know quite a bit less than that. The three would last somewhere around seven days, so they're like a one day improvement. Nothing huge, but it is a it is a benefit. So let's talk about the golf features. So I'll start off by saying these multi sport watches, they're not going to be as quite as good as some of the higher end golf specific watches. Some of those offer some pretty cool features, but the Vivo Active 4, it's going to give you all the essentials. I would say about 95% of what you need. The first thing you have to do is download the course you want to play. It's pretty straightforward, but all you have to do is go to the Garmin Connect app, look for your course and click download. It's going to be saved onto your phone after that. A little bit of a hassle having to do it every time, but it's really not that bad. The watch is going to give you like all the basic info you need, like you know what hole you're on, what par is, how far away you are from the middle, front or back of the green. And it's also going to show you the shape of the green as well. You can also move the pin around to get specific distances, which is pretty cool. You can also see hazards, dog legs, and lip spots on each hole. It's going to show you the distance to the front and back of each hazard. So you're going to know how far you have to hit it in order to clear it. That's another cool feature. It's going to tell you what the hazard is and where it is in relation to the green. But one of the more useful features is it's going to tell you how far you hit each shot and it's going to record that information for you to look at. All you have to do is hit your shot, walk up to your ball, and it's going to tell you how far you hit it. So that's really, really cool. You also view your shot history after your round to figure out how far you hit um, each of your shots just to get a better idea on like distance control and whatnot. And yes, it, it will keep your score as well. Now for the non-golf features, So, but the reason you get a watch like this would be for the non-golf features. If you're just going to use it for golf, then go with the S60 from Garmin, um, just because it's going to give you a little bit more features. But if you want to track like your fitness levels, your sleep, or use it for like swimming, cycling, running, or something else, um, it's going to work great. So the first set of features is that it has fitness, health, and sleep tracking. It's going to track like steps, calories burned, hydration levels, how well you slept, and it's going to show you on-screen workouts as well, which is, which is kind of cool. You can also play music directly from the watch. It's going to, um, like pretty much with a lot of other watches out there, the Vivo Active 3 included, you could only control the music on your phone with the standard version. Um, with the 4, you can play music through Spotify or Amazon Music. It also has a built-in GPS, for, uh, which is cool. It, I use it for like driving, you can use it for hiking, boating, or pretty much whatever else. It sure beats having one of those big, bulky handheld GPS units. Um, just having it on your wrist is way more convenient. But the watch does come with 20 plus sports apps already loaded in. Some of them are like running, cycling, swimming, climbing, and you know a number of other things. I don't really use too many of them, so I can't really say for sure how useful they are, but they pretty much track whatever you need to track. So let's jump over to the design of the watch, but one of the main reasons I like the Vivo 4 is because of the design. It didn't really have any issues with the 3, but I do like the look of the 4 quite a bit more. 
It's not something that would make me spend the extra money by itself, but it could be for you if you do have the money to spend. The second reason I like the 4 is that it comes with two different sizes. The previous watch was a 43mm, while the 4 comes in 45 or 40 I'm not really the biggest fan of watches, so I do like the 40mm version more, just because it's much more comfortable for me. Um, it might not seem like a big difference, but I really could tell. Now for the performance, so when it comes to performance, the main thing I'm going to be talking about is how long the battery lasted and how accurate the golf features were. You're here because you're looking for a golf watch, so most of the other things might really not matter very much. So let's start with the battery. So the latest Vivo Active, it's supposed to last an hour longer in smartwatch mode. I really didn't notice too much of a difference compared to the three, but it was still good enough for me. If you just use it as a normal watch with no GPS, it should last you about a week, which is pretty good. But if you use it, um, if you use the features, then you should get somewhere around a couple days. If you're just using it as a GPS watch and like listening to music, you're gonna get like a full round no problem. Now for the accuracy of the GPS. So, so even though it wasn't as good as the S60, I was still pretty impressed. It was very similar to the Garmin S10 or S20 and it was pretty much the same as the other sports watches from Garmin. The yardage to the green distance of my shots, it was always within about five yards of the course markers and that was good enough for me. So let's just cover the pros and cons. So pros, it's easy to use and pair to other devices. The battery life is great if you're using it as a normal watch. The touchscreen is super responsive and there were a bunch of cool features. Um, there's no way I would use them all. I use a couple of them, but there's pretty much a feature for everything. Cons, the battery life could be a bit better when listening to music or in GPS mode. The price point is a little high, and i like to see some more advanced golf features like the S60. So let's just do a breakdown. Performance score, I'll give it an 8. Quality, 9. Ease of use, 8. My personal score, an 8.5, which is pretty solid. Frequently asked questions, can you play music through the Vivo Active 4? Um, yes, you can. Can you answer calls and reply to messages? You can only accept or reject calls on the watch. Um, you need your phone to talk. You can only respond to messages if you have an Android phone. Currently, I'm sure they're working on that, but as of right now, it's only Android. Does the Vivo Active 4 have interchangeable bands? Yes, it does. So taking into account all that, is it worth it? I would say overall, if you're looking for a quality multi-sport watch that looks awesome and is gonna give you the essential golf features, the Vivo 4 could be perfect for you. It's not as advanced as the golf specific watches out there, but it's good enough for most people. It's comfortable, it's built well, and the features are all pretty accurate on it. If you just want a watch that offers the most golf features, then you should check out the Garmin S S60. If you, if you want a multi-square watch, but you don't want to spend that much money, I would still say the Vivo Active 3 is a great option. It might be something you want to check out. But if you would like to see more images or like a demo or get any of these for the lowest price available, click the link in the description down below. At the time I'm making this video, that was the cheapest place I could find it. So you can go ahead and check on the current price if you want. And if you do have any questions, just simply leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But if you haven't already watched and commented on our latest video, click the video card to the left and get yourself another entry into our golf giveaway.